Welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. In the last episode, um, we talked with Edwards a little bit, talked about who could be uh, Shelly the Killer's client, and we came up to the conclusion that it it might be Matt. And Old Bad told us about uh, Juan and uh, Celeste. Uh, I'm sure they must have transferred Miss Andrews here by now. So that means that both Mr. Engarde and Miss Andrews are in this are in this detention center. Now then, whose story do I want to hear? We want to hear Adrian's first. Then in Garde's. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry to be visiting at such a late hour. But there are a few there are a few questions I absolutely have to ask you tonight. Me? I thought your client was Matt. Huh. <laughs> Awkward silence is awkward. I'd like to ask you about Matt and Garde, if you don't mind. Mr. Wright, you still don't know, do you? The real him, I mean... You seem to bear a lot of resentment towards Mr. Engarde. If that's the case, then why did you become his manager? And why would you become intimate with his rival? That has nothing to do with this case. Nothing. You sure? About Miss Celeste Impacts. I finally put her death behind me, and now, thanks to you, it's all back to the surface. I I'm sorry. Yes, I was shocked at by her suicide, and it's true that when I heard the rumor that Juan was the one who had hidden her suicide note, I began to draw close to him. I forget her voice that I did. I wanted to get her suicide note back and burn it. And to burn it. You wanted to burn it? But why? I didn't want it to spread like another piece of gossip. But, I never held any murderous intent towards Juan. Hmm, I would never do something so stupid. Hmm, the suicide note, huh? Wonder what it said. Why frame? Why did you frame Mr. Engarde? That's simple. Because he's the killer, that's why. Isn't it the duty of every good citizen to inform the police? But, but there's had to be another way. Police are doing an excellent job, so they'll figure it out, right? Yes, they're so good at they couldn't figure out the truth behind Celestia's real death. Miss Andrews. Well, um, I know you're not the type of person to do something without a reason. So please, don't, tell me why you did what you did. Revenge. Huh? Did you say something just now? Really? One? One. Just one. Oh, well, screw you two. Yeah, she did. Okay, let's uh, head back to the criminal affairs depot. Oh, Mr. Wright, please, you have to help me. Uh-oh. Mr. Powers? What happened? Why are you here? Uh, I, oh, you see, I got roped into this somehow. What? And now I'm going to testify at tomorrow's trial. So the decisive witness is Mr. Powers. I was talking with the detective until a little while ago when I was on my way home. When all of a sudden, you there, you're under arrest. I was brought back here. Uh oh. They say my face and stuff look, in general, <laughs> look suspicious or something. Well, I guess I can see how they thought you'd look suspicious. Uh, I'm just a normal guy on an exercise show for kids. Is, is that a crime? Oh, God. So, about this testimony you're giving, what are you going to talk about? Ah, uh, I really don't know yet. But it sounds like I saw something pretty important from- You don't even know what you're going to say?! Of course. I'm going to take a while, I guess, and say it to me. <laughs> he doesn't have any friends. That's pretty sad. This is going to do a lot of damage to Matt, you know. Because he's got that refreshing like a spring breeze image going on. But what's he really like? Well, let's see. Matt's always been kind of a player with women. He would never really turn a pretty face anyway turn a pretty face away, if you know what I mean. He'd always say, it's just his, it's just a game to justify himself. 
What? The, how horrible! That's unforgivable! Unforgivable? Uh, ow, I didn't, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. But you know, he said once that there's only one person in the world who won't swoon over me. One person who wouldn't swoon over him? His manager, you know, Miss Adrian Andrews. Huh. Energetic. Ah, you see, I'm actually a sucker for gossip. Oh, really? I mean, celebrities in their world have this dazzling sort of image, right? A dazzling sort of image? But aren't you part of that dazzle, Mr. Powers? No, I'm more of a hairy, sweaty, smelly, brutish kind of guy, you see? But it's okay, really. I get plenty- I get to hear plenty of gossip about a lot of other stars around me as things happen. Well, that's true. Oh, hey, so did you hear about this yet? About Miss Andrews' mentor in a suicide? You mean Miss Impacts? We heard something about her how her wedding was cancelled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought it would be a little over- I thought a little- I thought about it a little the other day, about that mysterious death. Hey, Mr. Wright, why don't you ask me about that? Go on, go ahead. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty happy about this. Hey, so have you heard this? Celestia left a suicide note. And they said that Juan went and hit it. We heard about that in court today. But there wasn't any actual proof that she had left a note. Well, this is what I think. I think that someone, something bad was written on the note. Something bad for Juan, that is. Something bad for Mr. Corradia? Why do you figure so? Well, before she died, Celestie talked with a few of her friends. And she said, it looks like I may have, be, may have been caught by an insidious man. An insidious man? Did she mean Mr. Corradia by that? Well, there's no one else that fits the bill, right? And that would be a reason enough for him to hide the suicide note. I see. Well, that's some good info. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Ingardi and Miss Andrews, they're both at the detention center right now. Hmm. So I'm guessing we're gonna go and hear Matt's story now. And, uh, grrrf. Background noise, um... Whatever, I'm just gonna... Matt's time. Dude, it's Mr. Wright! I hope you can get me off the hook by tom tomorrow. I'm counting on you! I, I hope so, too. It's worth this drop the bombshell on me and said... That Juan Corradia was killed by an assassin, and that the assassin's client is... This man, Mr. Matt Ingarde. What's wrong? Uh, Mr. Ingarde, there's something I must know with 100% certainty. Hmm, you see kinda different. You're totally not like your usual lawyer dude self. Yeah, well, because we're kinda running low on time and we need to know some stuff. Um, about the press conference. You mean the one where Juan was gonna dress up like as the Nickel Samurai? Yeah, I heard a little more about it from Miss Andrews. Shouldn't he have been there to, to hear that? Then again, I won't don't remember anything from that trial. Could you please fill me out on what the secret is, please? And there it is, the five Cyclops. This is the first time we've actually come across this. M Mr. Nick, don't tell me. A Cyclops. You said a secret, right? But you don't have any idea what it is, do you, dude? Well, screw you, too. We're trying to help you. Do you know what Mr. Cordia and Miss Andrew's relationship? Well, it's all over the tabloids, dude. Ah, but I don't know any sort of the details, if that's what you mean. Look, how many times will I have to tell you? I don't care what Juan did with his life. Miss Andrews, she had a purpose in mind when she started seeing Mr. Corradia. Her mentor was Mr. Corradia's manager, and Miss Andrews was going to get Miss Celeste Impacts' suicide note from him. Celeste? Does that jog any memories? Hey, hey! Dude, I suddenly just got totally hungry. You up for a pizza? My treat. Um, Mr. Nick, what's a pizza? Is it a kind of pea? Like green peas? Let's go eat one later, okay? Ugh, I got cut off by the pizza dude at the shop. That's too bad. Well, how about we get our minds off this topic? Hey, no, no, no. You are not changing the subject on us. He's trying to change the subject on us. I'm not buying this. Mr. Ingarde. It's 
stop ignoring us, goddammit. Your butler? About this person. That he's... He's your butler, Mr. Doe, right? We met him at your mansion. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's a pretty cool dude when he can do lots of things. He takes real good care of me. Hmm... That was pretty weird. So, they were both pretty useless. So, back to the office. Urgh. Phone! Mr. Nick, your phone! I don't like the sound of this ringtone right now. It sounds kind of ominous. It's probably just your imagination. You should really pick it up, Mr. Nick. It could be important! Hello? We've got a big problem, pal! Well, what's wrong? I'm on my way to your office right now! Okay? Hey, wait a sec. Why is he coming here? It's terrible! I don't know what to say, pal! It's the end, I say I'm going to- Oh. I got here faster than I thought. Um, <laughs> it's weird, we're seeing his face, and it's like... No time to relax now, pal. I'm confused as anything right here. What? Well, what happened? We got him! We know who bought the spy camera! How did you figure that? I mean, how, yeah, how did you... This quickly? And the spare is what gave him away, pal. The bear? I figured it out, pal. I figured that we should have been looking into the bear instead of the camera. Didn't Edgeworth do that? <laughs> Shh, pearls. And, go on. There's only one person who bought one of those bears who's related to this crime. But who is it? Who could be so rude as to spy another person in their room? <sighs> Madden Garde. Huh? Madden Garde, her client, that's who, pal. And here I thought things couldn't get any worse. Stuff bear. Are, are you sure you heard right? That person, the person who bought the, the spare was... I heard it from the department store clerk, pal. This is the credit card receipt for the purchase. It's for $3,800? And that's an exact match to the price of that stuffed bear. A receipt? That's all you have? Nah, it's not just a receipt, pal. The store clerk said so himself. He told me, I'm sure I sold that bear to Mr. Engarde. I mean, the clerk even got Mr. Engarde's autograph out of it, pal. So I'm sure the person that bought the stuffed bear was Mr. Engarde himself. My... My sight is failing me. Th this can't be. I can't believe this either. Spy camera? So what about the spy camera we found? Ah, that was a dead end, pal. I mean, you can not You can get this kind of thing from anywhere. But for now, I guess I can give these back to you to file away for your evidence. Into, into evidence, derp. Spy camera, yay, we got the evidence back that we should have had. I don't even want to give up, pal. I, I never thought... I didn't think it was possible. The person who put the spy camera in Mr. Juan Cordia's room was Madden Garde? Why Why would Mr. Garde do something like this? I bet it was to catch Miss Andrews and Mr. Cordia in one of their rendezvous. I bet it's not good enough for me. I have to know the absolute truth behind this camera. Are you going to see him, Mr. Garde? I mean? Yes. Again. I'm scared, Mr. Nick. I, I wonder if we, what we will find out next. I'm scared myself, but I have to put on a good face for pearls. Matt Engarde, what have you done? Well, we're gonna head down next time. I will see you guys then.